The Hobbit, the story of how Bilbo Baggins of the Shire, along with a team of dwarves and a Division II wizard, defeated a powerful dragon and attained the One Ring. The Hobbit is a cute 300-page children's book about munchkins that got extended into three three-hour-long films about an albino orc and his refusal to apply ointment to his deep facial scars. We open with Bilbo Baggins, a wealthy mm. Hobbit bachelor. He's visited by Gandalf the Grey and 13 dwarves. Let's break down the gang. There's Thorin, the sexy famous one, Dwalin, the bald one, Feely, the blonde one, Keely, the other sexy one. Dory Nori and Ori, the three idiots, Bomber, the one that's just a circle, Bofer, who looks like most people in Bushwick, Biffer, the one with the axe in his head, Gloin, the one who's Gimli's dad, Oin, the cute one, and Balin, the one who's very old. Oaken Shields 13 is planning to go on a covert mission to reclaim their homeland and take back a lost jewel, the Arkenstone. Another shiny thing in this universe that makes people go insane. Middle Earth needs to ban jewelry, seriously. Anyway, Bilbo says no to the adventure but then changes his mind and off they go to kill a dragon. Smaug, to be specific. And boy, Smaug is a specific dragon. He has a beautiful voice, his weakness is like a single ingrown scale on his chest, and he wants to have sex with all the gold. Oh man, the way he looks at them? I just know Smaug has spent his days in that cave kissing those gold statues. If Smaug wasn't so power hungry, he'd be like a creepy manager at a TD bank. He'd send all the tellers home early and rub himself all over all the money in the vaults. Before they can get to Smaug, though, they have to deal with Azog the Defiler, a big nasty pale dude who hates Thorin for cutting his arm off and rides around on a big wolf creature called a warg. You know, they say dogs look like their owners, and this is no different because boy oh boy does this cute little pup look just like him. Anyway, this crew has their work cut out for them. The Hobbit may have been a children's book, but this is the Lord of the Rings universe. These bumbling sing-songy hedgehog people face constant death. Goblins, orcs, wargs, giants, elves, testy bear people, dark lords. I mean, there's a species called weir worms. Giant worms that eat the earth. How metal is that? Very. The gang escapes Azog thanks to their good friends the Eagles, who still should be tasked with every secret mission in this universe. Soon after, Smaug gets woken up by Bilbo and he takes a gold bath before burning Lake Town and getting killed by some dude's nice trick shot off his son's back. Meanwhile, Thorin has gone stone crazy and he and his gang are posting up in front of all the treasure. The humans and Legolas' hot dad with enormous eyebrows show up to get him out of there. But then, oh my god, an army of orcs shows up and then the Eagles and now we've got your classic battle between five armies. Long story short, Thorin dies, Azog dies, Legolas gets in a fight with his dad and runs away from home, and Bilbo returns to his hole to just chill for like 60 years. TLDW, you shouldn't be spending more than about three months gross salary on your Arkenstone.